welcome to my violin. My first practice. Well, here is the violin. violin. Here is the head and here is the ears and here is the neck. Here's the shoulders, the body and the bottom at the bottom. And we, if, if you would like to start to learn when you were older, you would use the bow. The bow. 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 That. Well, if it doesn't make a tune like. violin will go out of tune so you need an expert like your teacher to just twist that part and then it will come in tune but if it's really dirty you would clean it with this just go down with it and up and then you would it would be very clean and nice or if this was out of tune, your or like your adult, if your adult would know, they would twist the ears. But if you would hold a baby up like your with your ears, you wouldn't because you need to. You never touch them, but. You can touch all the different parts, but you never touch the ears of the violin. Well, if you are starting to learn like me, you will pluck it. So there is G, the 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 black one. So if the red one is D. And the purple one is A, the green one is E, the Finnish one. So we do in our class, to remember it in our head, we do giraffes, green, about elephants, so and um, the strings make lots of tune and the finished one makes, they all make different tunes. The finished one makes this kind of noise. The, the A one makes this kind of noise. The D one makes this kind of noise. And a G1 makes this kind of noise. Well, it's all different, but I haven't learned this, but I'll try to do it with the stick. Thank you. That was very, very interesting. And what do you enjoy the most about the violin? The... Well, I like the... The stick, because it makes like... Like, you can do it quickly or slowly on it. But also 
on that one, you can only do it like loud and soft. Hmm. But this one, you can do it like hmm. down and up, and you can do it like parts of it, just G and E. Can you can you play G for me? Yeah. Can you do D? And can you give me a sharp E? Oh, give me a deep G. A long G. A long one, please. Well, just pull your bow along for a long time, like. Or we'll push it down. That's a long G. And give me a uh, hi. What's that? Yep, that's pretty good. And uh, who else plays the violin in your group? Well, Jian, that is in my class. Jian sounds Chinese. Yes, he is. And there's another Chinese and another. I think she's Arabic. Yes. Is Can you tell me her name? Her name is... I just forgot. And what's uh, the other Chinese called? Um, there's... She's in year one, so I don't really know her name. Yeah. Um, but Jian's in my class, and the other year two girl is in the other year two class. So you have two Chinese, one Arab, and what are you? So there's two Arabs. Oh, you're not an Arab. Mm. Who says you're an Arab? It is Arab. You're not an Arab. Can you tell me what you are? No, I don't know. You don't know what you are, Taper. And what do you have to do to take good care of a violin? Uh, you have to. When you're finished, you don't lie it around. Yeah. Like if you say I. Play the violin, I left one there. Oh, that's not very good. And I left one over there. Yeah. You wouldn't know where you were when you went to play it. Yeah. So, you, you, you can't just get one from the school. Definitely not. You have to pay money to get one. And who got this one for you? My daddy. What's his name? Meb. And, um... Where did he get it? Um, I don't know because I didn't go with it. And were you very surprised when he walked home with it? He walked into the house with it? Yes. Did you know it was coming? Yes. No, you didn't. Yes. You had no idea. <laughs> um, but it... What do you want to say to people who are going to watch this? Table, we learned a lot. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Will have you? Good night. And good night to you. I told you she was going to get a kitten. Mm. Can I just get up, please? Remy, would you introduce Fred to us, please? No, I Table's just introduced the violin, so uh, 